<laughs> We're back, bitch. Welcome Hello. back to Dad Meat. Hello. Welcome to Dad Meat. Welcome our guest, the esteemed and extremely handsome Ryan Foster. What to do, baby? Bro. Welcome. <laughs> welcome to the Dude, fun. I had to warn everybody on Twitter today, like, don't let your wife watch this episode tonight. Dude, and then he pulled an extremely alpha move in sitting in your seat. Oh, uh, uh, was it? Yeah, I purposely didn't, didn't say, say anything. anything. I purposely didn't my say anything because I was gonna be like, "Mike, are you gonna let this happen?" And Mike was just like, "Yeah, dude." And then my wife's upstairs if you need her. And dude, <laughs> is that why you guys both started house? farting immediately? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, bro. Dude, I I shit my pants dude. in defiance, dude. Yeah, dude, it's been so just funny stop watching upstairs, dude. Watching Mike serve Ryan ha- like <laughs> hands and knees. He's like, "Do you need anything else before you?" Dude, <laughs> Beers. This is awesome. I got cured meat and cheese. <laughs> dude, even walking in the house, I heard him call my wife babe. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> hey, don't go upstairs, shower off, get changed. <laughs> I got two hours. <laughs> no. Damn, that's what's up. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's cool to finally find your type. I feel like I'm constantly <laughs> gushing over dudes, and now for Mike to finally react to one. <laughs> yeah, finally I got I'm Mike hard, baby. <laughs> <laughs> my God! <laughs> Turn the fucking fan on, dude. <laughs> like yeah, my grandpa porch shit tonight. <laughs> oh my God! I'm pickling the room right now, dude. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> I gotta start drinking beer faster so I can start ripping. <laughs> this is an not outrage. if you're fucking my wife tonight, pal. <laughs> yeah, dude. I got too much of a head start. You're never gonna catch up. Oh man, dude, oh. We, we came off a hot show last night. Ryan had fun? me on his place at the handlebar. Hot's a word for it. Yeah. Dude, we had a Moroccan heckler the whole night. Oh, my God. Dude, he kept screaming. I took an eight-hour flight here, and in my head, I'm like, I'm retarded, but no way Morocco's an eight-hour flight. There's no fucking way. Dude, Dude, it has to be like a 9-11 inside joke that he was yelling at. There's got to be. He wouldn't wouldn't stop. And then he got taken out by the fucking, that's the only comedy show with armed guards at the door. They took him out? Yeah, they kicked him out. Right after you left, they kicked him out. He was, I mean... He was having fun. I went back and forth because he was having fun, but at a certain point, shut the fuck up. Yeah, it got out of control. And then, uh, yeah, the dudes at the front door, they took Tubbs gun. (laughs) 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 What did they do with it? Uh, They just just put it, I guess he put it in his jacket. (laughs) He just held it in his teeth the whole time. I can't picture Tubbs giving up his fire. Oh, dude, he was in his glory last night. He was having a great time. Tubbs had ex-girlfriends there. Yeah. Whoa, that's he, dark. He <laughs> he's, like, he's like, my only girlfriend ever is here. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, dude. I don't know what to tell you. They got along though. I, I, his wife is is the best. She's Tiff, so she goddamn right funny, dude. To her. Yeah, Tiff rules. I'm sure they knew each other too before. Yeah, because yeah. sure. Northeast Philly is a very small yeah. place. That's how it goes, friend. <laughs> he, is that him? Yeah, he said they held it for me till I left. <laughs> All right. Damn, thanks for clarification, Tubbs. Yeah. Some other that. comic showed up and he was like, tried to show him a Vax car. They're like, we just got to pack it yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> you want balloons or not? <laughs> <laughs> fucking selling nitrous balloons at the show. Dude, Gardini was so fucking funny when that. Um, well, the bathrooms were right next to the stage and the Moroccan guy was yelling out the whole time. And Guard Dog went back to telling his jokes and he went to use the bathroom. Gardini stopped him and said, sorry, pal, Americans only. <laughs> In his defense, there is a gigantic American flag. It's a ga- it's like a slot machine, an ATM, an American flag, and you're in front of the American flag. It's the greatest show in Philly. Yeah. Love it. Mike, I, I, gotta, I, I heard your joke about the Moroccan guy, and I don't yes. want to set it up wrong. So, so all right, so here's, here's the story as I understand it. Uh, so Gardini messes with this guy. He says, Americans only in the bathroom. And the guy says, I'm going to deal with you later, right? <laughs> and then uh, the guy gets it done in the bathroom, comes back out, probably blows it up because foreigners always have oh, diarrhea. Absolutely. <laughs> Dude, Dude, foreigners every, have diarrhea only. <laughs> they turn every toilet into a halal toilet. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking hummus and street meat, baby. <laughs> they ain't fucking around. So he comes back and he storms the stage, right? He did. Yeah, with well, a box the, cutter. The pallet. The pallet. Yes. <laughs> 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 Gardini Walk Wahlberg him. Got him the fuck out of there. He's like, not at this yeah. show, brother. Yeah, if I'm doing a set, dude, it doesn't go down like that. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of blood on this pallet, boys. So, oh um, so uh, he starts to stage and he like goes on a like a, a, a tirade. Mm-hmm. But it's like kind of like positive. He's talking about how like, you know, let's just be boys, right? Yeah, we could be from different countries. It doesn't yeah. matter. We're all human. He does Rocky Four. Moroccan yeah. Four. <laughs> <laughs> he was positive. The dude was nice as shit. So it was kind of yeah. like, all right. Although he did freak out one time. Um, 
uh, a female comedian was up. Uh, very funny, uh, Masha. Masha. Yeah. She was great. She mentioned about how you're not gay if you only suck one dick. <laughs> he he freaked like, out. That's not true. Like, He's like, are you a lesbian? <laughs> Whoa. And at that yeah. point, the tone changed. But, yeah. Damn. So, yeah, but at one point, he reveals he has a DUI. He oh does, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> everybody at that bar. Is DUI. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you get one just by walking in. They're like, yeah. Yeah, I asked him if uh, he had a blow into his carpet to drive home. <laughs> 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 fucking, I don't know. I don't know how we ended up at that fucking bar. <laughs> Honestly, but I love it. Can't get yeah, enough of that fucking that bar. That's cool. Dude, that, that's what I missed about stand up is shit like that. Yeah, that I had everything. Sh- dude, I ate shit hard at the show I did last Friday. Where were you at? Um, an axe throwing place. Oh, that's always good. <laughs> and it was, you know, it was good. Like that was, you need one of those to like yeah, kind of yeah, clean yeah. the pipes out every now and again, but it felt good to be thrown into the fucking, the yeah. lion's den last and I, and I don't want to like, I don't want to talk inside baseball <laughs> too much, but when you're eating shit, did you just power through your material or did you melt down in a fun way? A little bit of both. Cool. Yeah, there were, cause there were people sitting up front and they were in couches and I still don't know why they're in couches and everyone else is at a table. VIP. VIP, baby. VIP. That's what it is. Okay. I don't know. I, guess. I don't know. I've been out so long. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm going with. Yeah. It's but, yeah, I talked to them for a while, and uh, some of them were cool. One guy got offended because I insinuated that he had a big dick, which I'm still perplexed about, but all right, dude. That's probably how weird about all his dick is yeah. in real yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hit him with the reverse. I don't yeah. know, dude. That's cool, man. I'm glad you guys had fun. How did your show go? <sighs> pretty Damn, good. Huh? We're pretty you got good. pink eye. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> big time Tommy. Yeah, I had a lot oh, of fun at Helium as well. And uh, spent a lot of time with some cool friends and uh, partied too hard and then got up and worked. Oh, dude, I, st- I stayed out and partied with Mary Jo all night. We had an overnight babysitter, went home, got an hour of sleep, got up with the alarm, went out, took my kid bicycle shopping so we could go for a fucking ride in the park. Damn. Yeah, dude, dude. I'm, a, I'm a fucking party dad. Dude, One that- hour of sleep? How many kids do you have? Three. Fuck, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is disgusting, dude. dude. <laughs> What's coming Fuck. out of your <laughs> cheeks tonight? I thought you were saying his kids were <laughs> disgusting. I'm like, <laughs> well, hey, excuse me. <laughs> keep, keep your kids to yourself, man. <laughs> but golly, man. Bro, I went to Dick Sporting Goods, by the way. Is that what does it? <laughs> <laughs> you get loosened up in there. You can get a rocking later. What are they serving? Hot dogs and sauerkraut there? <laughs> Jesus, man. That's the Home Depot, dude. I don't think I've ever smelled you this bad. <laughs> I'm on one, dude. I had a great weekend. Wawa um, and Honey Grow. Wawa and Honey Grow. Ooh, baby. So good. And a plate full of meat. Honey Damn. Grow is very intimidating. I don't know if it's like this everywhere, but the one that I go to, it seems like it's staffed entirely by black murderers. I was just about to say, angry black chicks. The one by me. I'm, I'm down by Temple, though. Yeah, they're never going to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's ironic. It's called Honey Grow because they're never going to hit you with a honey. <laughs> nah, we just ain't getting hit with shit. Unless it's more they're like, more like honey. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my yeah. god, man! Do I need noodles this bad to get screamed at by this? And they're like fucking twenty three dollars. I hit them with the double meat every time, and they yeah, fuck you me. have to. It is good though; it is worth it. Oh, it's amazing if you can make it out of there without having to interact with anybody. I think it's too good. I don't respect Honey Grow. The food's too nice. White only would yeah. be better. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> I really like buying noodles from places I can also buy a six pack ass. Yeah, <laughs> like a nice <laughs> shitty Chinese food. Yeah. Store. Dude, I'm so tired of nice food, dude. Get that shit out of my face from now on. Yeah, I want. <laughs> Very bad pizza, mostly, <laughs> and just like dropped on the floor noodles. Yeah, yeah that's not bad at that. You know who else is? Dude, I don't want to eat at the same place as a guy wearing a pea coat ever. No, and that's, that's what all honey mm-hmm. It's all pea coat dickheads. Everybody's wearing pea coats now. That's like the new black guy move. Dress shoes, the ankle showing pea coat. Yeah, this thing you haven't seen that? Man. Hell yeah, with the gold Tim, chain. Would it be yeah. fair to say if everybody everybody's <laughs> wearing pea coats in there that they should call it money grow? <laughs> Sure. Okay. Yeah. I thought like, it was good. Dude, the words were fighting coming out of my yeah. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like, Come on, buddy. Even my mouth is you sound like you're now. fucking Moroccan. Man. <laughs> uh, you know what other businesses staffed by black murderers is Jim Steaks. Yeah, but Jim those Steaks. are cool. Yeah. Black yeah. I don't know, dude. You no, know, the 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 grill guy at Jim Steaks is the fucking man every single time. He. I don't yeah. like being screamed at, bro. And there's enough meat on there that they have to get like two spatulas to like. They're always it jacked forearms. <laughs> yeah, those are work release dudes. Hell yeah, they're the shit. Nonviolent uh, charges. Please pay, dude. Please respect the gym stakes. Guys. They should be executed. 
You're more of a Jim Crow's steak. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Another beer? Yeah, no problem, dude. Yeah. No, I'm not getting your beer. Yeah. Fuck that, dude. Get your. Wait, own. could you uh, summon your wife to grab Ryan a beer, please? <laughs> babe, babe. <laughs> dude, the last time I went to Jim Steaks, the um, the black murderer. He's like, uh, let me guess, you want fried onions and cheese whiz on this? I was like, uh, could I also get mushrooms? I was like, why would you say that I want fried cheese and or fried, <laughs> fried onions and cheese whiz? He's like, well, your name's Michael, right? I was like, yeah. He's like, that's my name too. That's what I get. <laughs> you with the cheese take telepathy? Yeah, yeah. So I thought it was going to be like a Green Mile situation. <laughs> no, this was. Hmm. And then he opened his this mouth a, and spit this, bees onto your dude, fucking. This was a black and mild situation. <laughs> you want oh. fried bees? <laughs> All them black dudes at them cheesesteak shops talk like black Israelites. Yeah. Every single time. They're so aggressive. I haven't gotten a cheesesteak in years. Because you're years. afraid. Yeah. I got wow. intimidated out of it. I feel like I'm learning some very disappointing facts about both of you. <laughs> I buy rotisserie chickens if I'm hungry, dude. Yeah. It's my go to. Double fist them. Fucking right. In the parking lot. That's the move. No. It's the only move. Who do you think's making rotisserie chickens, though, dude? Black <laughs> <laughs> You don't got to deal with them, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> let's, let's dude, he blew his own hat yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine saying I'm something so racist problem. that your own hat fucking flies Whoa, out of your head. Whoa, man. Golly. The best fucking chickens, though. Jeez Louise. Should have went beanie. I had my boy's HVAC hoodie on, and then it got so hot with the fucking farts in here. I was like, all right. <laughs> I get fart saunas. <laughs> Yeah, I made them hot under the belt. <laughs> My God! Right, pussy wise, how things going for you? Pretty bad. I got what? a girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, no, I've been living with my girlfriend for like two years, but before that, I was doing pretty good for myself. Yeah, <laughs> doing pretty good. Would you yeah. clean up on job sites? No, dude. I see like two girls a year on job sites, and they're always architects. Wait, what architects. kind of what kind of job? I'm an electrician. Oh man! Yeah, I'm the diva. Spark diva fly. Trade, oh, yeah. baby. Wow! Hell yeah! My my stepdad forced me to do it. <laughs> really, oh, my best friend. Yeah, I my, think that's the only way to become. That. Yeah, that's the only way to become an electrician. You have it to really be is. Stepfathered Nobody, in. Yeah, you get stepfathered <laughs> in. And a molestation victim. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was the only way. My stepdad sat me and my best friend down. My best friend dropped out in ninth grade, hmm. so one night he just sat us down. He's like, "Listen, college ain't happening. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to trade school. Exactly, we're going to be an electrician. Man. You're doing HVAC. Yeah, You're going to make cheesesteaks. Oh, I saw. Consider. I got hard as soon as I walked in. It was the only route. Do you guys get bullied by other tradesmen? Mm, nah. Mm. Nah. Mm. Really? No? Nah. I usually, I only do is like rich people houses. Yeah. I don't do any like slum houses. Really. I know because I know like carpenters, if they catch a dude sucking another dick, they'll say, what are you, an electrician? Yeah. There are a lot, <laughs> of, a lot of electrician <laughs> jokes <laughs> getting hurled at me by fat guys. <laughs> like, All right, dude. <laughs> what's the what's the uh like lowest on what's the lowest rung on the tradesman hierarchy? Labor. Labor. But yeah, because they I just think pick they up get trash. respect though because those dudes are at least like, you know, manly, right? Yeah. They always got knuckle tats. Yeah. Always. But yeah, definitely laborers. They get the least. Plumbers rule. Carpenters. I work with all pretty everybody's pretty cool I work with. Unless you're working on the city, then you gotta deal with union dickheads. Because I'm not in the union. <laughs> Whoa, oh, you're a scab electrician. Man, boy. Whoa, listen, I'm trying to get in the union. <laughs> Yo, it's one thing to say blatantly racist things. Don't come out as a scab black all you want. Jamie, please. Please. Yeah. do me a favor. Me. Blow up our inflatable rat, please. <laughs> <laughs> I just get out and protest the handlebar. <laughs> Put him right back here. <laughs> fuck. Dude, we, we, only, we only fuck with union podcasters, so now Damn. that I know that, we might have to take a break between this and the picture. Yo, could you imagine how much funnier comedy would be if it was all union dudes? Oh, yeah, it'd be God. so much funnier. Damn, dude. <laughs> Dudes all yeah. whacked out on perks from a knee surgery. Stand up comedy would be a hundred times funnier if it was only union. Dude, oh my god, dude. Construction and, sites are funnier than any open mic. Dude, everything Go would murder. be funnier. Like if Jesus was a union carpenter. Oh hell yeah. And he got fucking crucified, he would have like a hundred <laughs> dudes that look like me picketing his crucifixion. <laughs> yeah. Fat Italians. Uh Ian Finance was a carpenter before he got into stand up. He might have had a bit about Jesus as a union carpenter. Really? I can yeah. see that. Like when he was first starting out. Wow, that takes me back. Dang. That's nice. How long you guys do stand up? You guys have stand up for a while, right? I started in 2003. <laughs> Hell yeah. I forget what year I started. I think it was 2011, though. It's the move. Dude, yeah. I remember when I first started, my wife was pregnant. And uh, <laughs> as soon as I gained steam, it was just like, all right, well, I, I guess this is done. <laughs> this is finito. 
And it was yeah. great. It what, was the great. pregnancy or stand up? Both. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to terminate this. Yeah, I would make her walk down flights of stairs ahead of me all the time. <laughs> Trying not to do bit on her. Fuck. She whispering her memento mori into her ear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I, I actually enjoyed it, though, because she would come to shows pregnant. And um, at the first place where I performed, it was like every, every week felt like batting practice. Yeah. So was like I felt like the man pretty early on. Yeah. And then I started branching out, and then I started to eat shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, ah. yeah. It's all because of you. You got pregnant. Oh. I need to get my check pregnant so I can quit stand up. Dude, that's the trick. We talked yeah. about it this week. Move to the woods. <laughs> I firmly believe now that I'm 42 that the key to finding happiness in life is impregnating a nice lady as early as you can. True. Yeah. True. I, so I, I if, let a couple get away. You can find them. <laughs> they're all over the place. Go get them. And Every time I come to Delco, I get horny. These chicks look like they're like hotter Northeast chicks. I think. Oh uh, yeah, I think yeah you're good. genetically predisposed to liking <laughs> chicks with like neighborhood pulled back, scrunchy oh, hair and dude. shit. Yeah, I see sucks. some white eyeliner. It's over, baby. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm man. like, let's fucking rock. <laughs> Fucking yeah, love it. A girl in like a dirty Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh fleece, and you're just like, fuck, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's my my biological <laughs> clock is ticking, dude. <laughs> Damn, girl, did that bun just get wetter? <laughs> I'll grease the fuck back. I also like Eeyore. <laughs> <laughs> the chicks down here do the. They used to do the bangs with the two gelled tips. Yes. Remember when chicks did those? Yep. I need oh, to bring yeah. that shit back. Scrunched hair. I had that in in smaller version in eighth grade. You did it. You had two. You not, not like the uh, not like the fucking Hasidic. spider legs, yeah. Yeah. but like the, the Hasidic the... slut. <laughs> 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 but the, I, I think it was a Caesar cut. Oh, everybody had the C's. <laughs> come and on, you baby. would just like come before while you were having a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> did you oh, have diamond studs? I had, dude. I had a gun earring and a money earring. You had a gun earring? Look Fuck, dude. dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. I was a fat wigger with anxiety Whoa. issues. Do you think I had a gun Man. earring? It was like not, a dude? Glock or like an AK. Damn. It was a handgun. Yeah, hell yeah, that rocks. That was the last time your parents gave you twenty dollars on the walk. <laughs> you had to save up to go to Claire's. <laughs> dude, that's like, you had the money earring. It's like, damn, even my ears turning green now. Baby. <laughs> it was the worst. Dude, I got money infection. <laughs> you had to wash them down. Hit, hit your earlobes with peroxide before school. I, the, when I went full wigger, it was the summer that I graduated high school. I was still in wigger mode, and I got this airbrush Wu Tang T-shirt <laughs> on the Ocean City, New Jersey boardwalk. And on the back, I had Mike written in cursive, and I walked out with it. I was like, I am the man. I'm the man. Right. I took maybe <laughs> fucking 20 paces before I heard kids on the boardwalk plotting to beat me up oh, and yeah, take yeah. it off of me, even though it had my fucking name on the back. Maybe their name could have been Mike that Mike too. from the cheesesteak shop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. He's like, Fuck Watch this their cheesesteak order, dude. They could have been Mike's as well. <laughs> oh, my God. If you didn't get, yeah, personalized shit off the boardwalk was the best. Mm -hmm. My favorite, hands down. I haven't been to fucking Wildwood in forever. I heard it's gay now. It's like rich there forever too. No, it's still pretty gross. Oh, really good. It's still pretty low rent and disgusting. It's the best. Sure. Actually, I uh, I think I went during. Uh, it was some themed weekend. It might. Oh, it was the race of gentlemen. Is which, that the motorcycle which, one? I, I think they claim it to be white. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> chill, chill, but chill. I'm here to tell you, dude, these people were fucked up hill people. It's like, on the um, beach. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. uh it's like weird fucking like It's like greaser culture. Yeah. Kinda. And they race like shitty old cars on the sand and just like it's all white dudes that look like they have like uh like grease tans, you know? Yeah. So it's like Jersey Sturgis. <laughs> but it yeah. really is. This is exactly what it okay. is. Man, how awesome would it be to have a grandma that would go to Sturgis to get <sighs> fucked? My grandma 100% would do that. My grandpa's dead now. She's out of control right now. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever think about like how long how long do you think she has left? Is she healthy? Is she doing well? <laughs> She's pretty healthy. She's got three Sturgis's left. Yeah. <laughs> she's got three or four left in her. She'll get fucked for two of them. <laughs> After that, she's shot out. Yeah, I don't. I think she's 82. Oh, God bless Yeah. You. She's fucking had to get... She had... She broke her... She got a black eye at 4th of July last year. She dr got drunk and fell on the driveway. She chipped a tooth. My family, every single party, somebody has an Damn. injury from drinking. That's a every battle, Grandma. Party. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> You should take yeah, like a bunny road trip. Scars. <laughs> she rules. She's a certified wild hog, baby. Yeah, dude, 30 years at fucking TJ Maxx. <laughs> She's what? a vet. I swear to God. Just, like Dan Madden, who was there last night, they worked at TJ Maxx together. 
Like you gotta get her Sturgis, dude. You gotta get her fucking spit roasted. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on Patreon. <laughs> We're gonna go out to live. Yeah, 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 Sturgis, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> I'll dress her up as a rat. Yeah, that's the old lady version of being like wheeled onto a beach when you oh, know you're dying. Dude. It would be really funny. Tell her you're taking her to Sturgis and instead take her to Black Bike Week. (laughs) (laughs) Somebody's needed a double wide sidecar for that bitch. (laughs) She's thick, dude. Oh, my God, dude. dude. No, please don't do that for her safety. Don't don't take your fat grandma to Black Bike Week. (laughs) She's not that fat anymore. Dude, there's going to be a skinny black dude in a sidecar with her driving the (laughs) boat. Dude, that is a pinata and a king. Hugging her a wah wah while she pays for shit. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, she's a fucking ass animal dude i don't know my whole family's animals you guys got a solid white trash families both of you yeah they're pretty bad yeah um yeah i might start pranking my parts of my family by narcanning them oh (laughs) hell yeah (laughs) my god i don't even think they didn't even have narcan when my brothers overdosed they're just fucking (laughs) they just peaked out (laughs) they're just 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 like waiter (laughs) they got nothing (laughs) This is the last time I heard my brother got arrested. He uh, he broke into somebody's house and the cops showed up and they chased him down the street and he was so fucking whacked out he hid behind a screen door on a pile of trash. <laughs> like, the <a> screen door. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. You know what's rude. funny is like, every, if you have a waker in your family, there's a 100% guarantee he has a story about jumping out of a second story window to get oh. away from the cops and breaking <laughs> yeah. an ankle. It's Nobody's, happened to every yeah. waker brother. That's Nobody's ever got lived. stronger bones than wiggers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> They're unbelievable. Dude, every day in like a pillhead wigger's life is the born identity. It really yeah. is in their mind. <laughs> My God. Except instead of asking like about their past and how they get back to what they used to be, they're just asking what bus stop this is. <laughs> yeah. It's the 42. Yeah. yeah excuse fucking, me, my man. Fucking green One, loves. you got a cigarette, <laughs> and two, there's a 42 come past here. <laughs> the bus driver's like, that's Jason Bourne's stop. <laughs> Speaking in code. Dude, to that point, that fucking Wawa by that show last night, Oh, it's one of the Ooh, best ones. Boy. Did you go to the one on Iron Mango in Allegheny? The one right there. The one right there. Okay, the corner yeah. By They're the both. Shinoko. They should have, like, Discovery Channel should have a fucking 24-7 feed on both of those. They're amazing. The one on Allegheny and Iron Mango is better. Well, that, that Iron Mango one used to be his, Wawa. Oh, yeah. That one's special. I think that's where they stopped letting people in the bathrooms. <laughs> Doesn't they're like, you know what, we're done with the bathrooms. Yeah, I can't even I can't even drive by that neighborhood anymore. It stresses me out. So like yeah, if yeah. I'm on the highway and I just pass start that sweating. neighborhood, I'm like <laughs> Yeah, dude, I get I get pretty serious uh PTSD. Dude, it's funny you bring that up because I was just about to ask you, but um a guy offered us to check out his studio space and it's like right by your old neighborhood. Yeah, and no it looks thanks. like a very nice studio. I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. All he's right. a photo- he's <laughs> no. like a photographer. He was he wasn't on the show last night, but he came to the last one. What was his name? I gotta look it up. Yeah. Okay. Something Spanish. It's Del was Calo's it Toscani? Fun. Nah, it's not him. Okay. Different guy. Yeah, I'm not going back. <laughs> no, I'm never going back. Not even going back to visit, dude. Damn. <laughs> we'll just live dude, stream it took you. me too long to get out. There's no way I'm even I ain't go, I ain't never going back. back in. Yeah. What if we could arrange for like a helicopter to just drop you into the building? If you could arrange for a helicopter, attach a fucking bomb to it and drop that. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was smart enough to make a joke about the fires. Remember when they did that? They firebombed that neighborhood. Yeah, that's what I was oh, dude, right, yeah. dude, it was right near my house. I forget what that shit was called. Move. 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 Which is a very funny uh, <laughs> command to give yeah. to people <laughs> when you're bombing them. Pretty sure there was a cheesesteak cook compound <laughs> that they wanted to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> the landlord was a dick. <laughs> we got an Fuck. entire block full of, excuse me, my man. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> my God, yeah, they really paved paradise and put up a honey grow. It's <laughs> <laughs> enough honey grow slander on this yeah. goddamn pocket. <laughs> they put up a dark and glot. <laughs> You guys are evil. I don't agree with you. Yeah, he's bringing it out of me. All. He will, it's, it's, yeah. it's all because he came in here with that fuck my yeah. wife energy. <laughs> <laughs> if he didn't come in, just... <laughs> See, Ryan, I'm racist enough that you won't fuck my wife, right? Just walking in here, there's lube <laughs> and stirrups. I'm like, what the fuck's going on there? Dude? <laughs> that was nuts because I heard a door open with no knock and just, what's up, I'm Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> she said, come in. I was like, all right. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Did you have her on this podcast? Case yet? No, dude. Damn. We're saving that for yeah. something special. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be sitting on the edge of the bed holding a hand tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You're so pretty, babe. You're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Sweating out Miller lights oh. on your sheets. Oh man. 
Oh my god! Boy. You guys never porked anybody's wife, right? No, just mine. No. <laughs> just mine. <laughs> yeah, how long you you've been married for a while too, dude? Coming up on thirteen years. Holy shit! Oh, dude, you know what I thought might be nice because we never had a wedding. I want to have a <laughs> stop <laughs> shitting your pants on my couch. <laughs> Shut build up. that wall, <laughs> bro. That's Fuck. rich coming from you. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Um, you just let a fart escape out of there. Yeah, we, uh, dude, we never had a wedding, and uh, in two years it'll be fifteen years. What if we did the renewal of vows and had like a nice big party? Oh, oh hell yeah! That'd be nice. Yeah. Holding dude. knives towards each other. Oh, yeah, dude, just <laughs> at each other's throats. Like I fucking love you, dude. If you ever leave me, you're dead. <laughs> That's a Puerto Rican wedding too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, wouldn't that be cool? This yeah, is outrageous. Is there a fart count on this? <laughs> like, I'm oh, not Jack, performing. You guys, we gotta start getting one of those. Yeah, hey, you gotta get like a little fucking timer. Dude, thing. one guy in a YouTube comment was like, "Look, man, I just don't get the farts." <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> shit ain't for yeah. me, brother. Yeah, there's a dude who won't stop watching the show, and every episode he comments, comments saying calling people bub is gay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to watch this. It's gay to watch something like, you hate, bro, dude. dude. I think calling people bub might be the only thing that I genuinely care about. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, dude. It's an homage to my son. Oh, is it? That's the bub thing? Yeah, I started calling my son Fat Bub, and then I called oh, everyone hell yeah. Bub, and now it's on, you know, everything, and this guy's just like, dude, it's fucking good. He's not happy stuff. about it. I'm sorry, bro. You're listening to a gay podcast. <laughs> to break it, This couldn't you. get gay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, every week we constantly have to remind people how gay yeah. everything we do is. Yo, you know, what's, you know what's so funny is that he's like, he never says anything about constantly talking about, like, 69ing our boys and shit. <laughs> <laughs> just sucking you dudes' friends' dicks. That's what, when I first met you guys, yeah, I was like, what like, the fuck is these dudes' yo, deal? Yo, bro, dap me up, and then you spin them upside down and suck his dick <laughs> I was like these are aggro fags this is crazy dude, every this fart. is a fagro pie <laughs> dude every fart and burp you guys gotta do a tailgate for the vapor. Eagles next to Jetro gay. it's fagro oh man that would rule you guys gotta do a dad meat tailgate yeah just oh, moshing into dudes ass first <laughs> just <laughs> naked dudes with knives <laughs> yeah open oh up a God. circle jerk pit let's go dude uh, this one's for all the real motherfuckers in the back kissing each other. Dude, we'll do a Travis Scott where like the front row will be pulling their cheeks apart and then everybody else will just rush <laughs> just to the fuck at the same time. <laughs> Gotta get a dick funnel out there. That would be brutal. Oh my god. Let's go. Astro world. <laughs> oh, I still it's so funny people got trampled to death there. <laughs> like it's not funny, but god damn it. You know how pissed I mean, I'd be. Tramplings got... are pretty funny. That's one of the most primitive ways to die. Yeah. I mean Aside I from like being eaten by an animal. Being trampled yeah. by an un an uncontrollable crowd. By a bunch of fourteen like, year olds, that'd be mortifying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck, dude. The two thousand dollars sneakers. <laughs> yeah. It's just Jordan ones and yeah. fucking skinny jeans stomping your head in. Yeah, that sucks. Hmm. Uh, Where would you like to get stomped to death at? <sighs> if I had to pick, I don't know, Sturgis, baby. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, dude, getting I'm getting fucked. By I'm blighters. trying to save her. Yeah, it would suck. That'd be cool. Yeah, that's the best way that's to go the, out. You go to it's better than Travis Scott concert. Fuck. You go to bitch Valhalla when a biker gang <laughs> stomps you to death. God damn! How many people? How many people ended up dying in that ten? Something like that. I don't know. I stopped paying attention. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't I can't. Care. That's why I can't even fucking go on Twitter anymore. It's just, just people bitching about news. I don't want to look up. Yeah, I can't fucking keep up with anything. Yeah, I'm You're taking a pretty hard. Thing. I'm picking a pretty hard stance against people just like getting upset about stuff, sharing articles and shit. <laughs> I'm like, at least yeah. make it funny. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't yeah, know. that's why I stay stupid. <laughs> it's the only way to be happy, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Listen, I want to stay all the way my whole dumb, life. Bro. I ain't changing now, brother. <laughs> it's too Hell late, yeah. dude. Shout out Angel Dust, all the way dumb. Let's go. Yeah, you're much better. Angel off, Dust, don't ever wrestler. <laughs> or no, that's Gold <laughs> Dust, the band. But oh, is it? Yeah, I'm just I refuse, dude. New information that that can't ever touch me. Yeah, might as well be fiction. I'm gonna learn enough electrician <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, so I'm, dude. I'm talking tits for the rest yeah. of the day. You ever get zapped on the job? Oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Not like terrible. Yeah. My, dude, the first job I ever had out of trade school, a guy died on a job site. We were like pulling water. <laughs> no, I fucking win. We have to clean up the blood. <laughs> I swear to God. The dude, he was like pulling wires through like a mezzanine. There was like a trough, which is basically just like a metal box. And the dude was splicing wires, wasn't paying attention. He had his finger on the metal part of the strippers. And we're pulling wires. And the one dude that was like leading the job was like, yo, something smells. And we turned around. The kid's head's like fucking purple. They hit him with a fucking two by four, whacked him off, blood coming out of his mouth, out of his side. Oh, my God. And then uh, they like had to fucking have a helicopter land. They saved his life, but he was retarded. <laughs> yeah. His finger looked like a fucking baked potato. It was crazy. Oh, my God, man. Damn. Damn. She did whack him with a two 
They hit it. Yeah, because if you touch them, you'll get lit up too. Yeah, like somebody's gonna let you. Yeah. Did you give out a hacksaw Jim Duggan? Yeah, <laughs> no, I was like, God oh, damn, oh, brother. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking nuts. I was like 19. I was like, I should have went to college. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, he lived though. He came back like like a year later. Was he different? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was different before yeah. that happened, and he was extra different then. That's yeah. awesome. He lived though. Was he more like peaceful and stuff, or was he a total spaz? No, he was like a woods guy. This was out in like my first job was in Franconia, Pennsylvania. It's like out in like uh near Stankoni. Near <laughs> Outcast <laughs> Outcast <laughs> <Antwerp>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That was their first mixtape, Franconia. No, yeah. It was out in the middle of nowhere. We were working in uh Morgantown, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. It's like by Reading kinda. Yeah, yeah it's a fucking nightmare. Living in a hotel. You would work like six six days a week, twelve hours a day, stay in a hotel with a bunch of like middle aged guys. It was like eighteen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this ain't for me. Dude. But it was like a, a job with like a an end date, right? Yeah. Yeah. So how long would those typically last? Like uh, a couple months? I mean, some of them, some dudes were here for like two years. And how, like in that two years, would you make enough money to take oh, you, some time off? Oh, you could off? make so much money because yeah. I was selling weed at the time, so it was perfect. Then I got laid <laughs> off, moved down to Wildwood for the summer. Unemployment and <laughs> weed money, baby. Oh my God. It was the summer four locos were legit too. What? When they first hit the streets, it was the shit. Summer oh, 2010. Yeah, when they yeah, still had the it was unbelievable. special sauce in them. Yeah. I would just go down to the beach every day, black out in four locos, and babysit like young kids. <laughs> it was great. Like Whoa. hood families. I was just throwing <laughs> kids in the water. Man, I really liked a lot of that story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't you ba- we would just sit there and get high and then people would just let their kids run around like crazy. Would you just give the kids two They logos? would start like attacking your legs, so you're just like <laughs> fucking stiff arming them into the water. <laughs> it ruled. <laughs> it's a weird summer. Do they yeah. uh when you're when you're getting ready to become an electrician, is it true that they show you safety videos of dudes just getting lit the fuck oh, up? Oh yeah, yeah, they're insane. I don't know if you can find them on YouTube, like OSHA videos. I think you can see dudes get fucked up. Dude, wow, this is crazy. Man, I got fucking Donald Duck farts, man. <laughs> <laughs> did you hit the lights? I did. I put my pillow back there because Damn. You I didn't want to get down. Shut down the studio. <laughs> <laughs> One more fucking fart. Yeah, the LED strip goes off. <laughs> <We're done>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, you That's guys didn't do four logos? We were no, four I logos. Yeah. Yeah. What was the other one? Was it Sparks? Spark, right? Yeah. Spark. The yeah. orange one? They were great. Four logos. Yeah, I remember everyone would get really excited every time there was a new fucked up drink. Yeah. <laughs> this one's great battery acid. It was yeah. fucking terrible. Just shit your pants on stop. Yeah, I love those days. Yeah, I missed the boat on all those. The last cool thing that I think I got was uh, they served Bud Ice in like a 25 ounce can. <sighs> and I had a job that I hated and I would have to walk home. It was in fucking media, which is like eight miles from here. I didn't have a car, so I'd have to walk home because the last train out was at like 10.20 and I got done at like 10.30, so I'd have to walk home every night. And on the way home was the Frontier Saloon. And oh, they had yeah. like an incredible takeout selection. <laughs> and they had just they had just started stocking 25-ounce Bud Ice cans. Oh, hell yeah. So that was like my goal to get to that point and buy myself two 25-ounce cans. It's like piss warm by the time you get home. Yeah. <laughs> Eight miles. Well, I would walk. drink them on the ride home. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. On the walk home. Oh, I thought you were driving home. I was like, I respect that even more. No, man. I had to walk, man. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. I always had a car. I got lucky with the car. Did you do it like a marathon runner where you just like take it and like dump it on your head and shit? <laughs> yeah. That's what, I live in Fishtown now, so dudes go. I didn't know people went on jogs and then go and drink beer after the oh, jog. Oh, yeah. The beer running Yeah. Club. Those dudes are great. <laughs> yeah. So I was a tour guide at one of the breweries that they would go to. What brewery? Philly Brewing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Should I not say that? It's, it's too late now. Right? Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, you know, it's just adults with, you know, nothing going on trying to have fun. Yeah. You know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't hate, dude. <laughs> let me pump the brakes. I will. Dude. Do your thing. <laughs> Do your fucking thing, yeah. whatever it is. Don't let me stop you. I'm just jealous I don't jog. You don't, you guys don't jog? I run. Uh, I, uh, I hate running. Can't yeah. do it, brother. I can't. My, it hurts my back. Jake? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Nah. I just got a mountain bike. Did you? Yeah, that's why, that's why I went out with my son. I was, I was looking for an activity for us to do together. And uh, I'm excited, dude. I'm excited to fucking shred some trails. you go trails. with? Uh, I don't know. Is is GT like a, a Bobo That's what I brand got. now? I yeah. got a GT mountain bike. My cousin stole it, though. Yeah. I've had that bad boy. Well, every bike you years. have is a GT. <laughs> GT, baby. What's that mean? Gay ass, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. And your son got a mountain bike, too? Yeah. So we're going to have some fun. 
Hell and, yeah. And uh, probably go over some jumps. You don't wear a GoPro? I Please. should. I got one. Yeah, you have yeah. to wear a GoPro. Yeah, I'll wear a GoPro and do some extreme mountain biking. Dude, what's... um? I don't know. I don't want to complain too much, but I feel like <laughs> stores... Do. <laughs> dude, stores are just like online shopping, but worse now. And I had like a showdown with an old guy at Dick's Sporting Goods. I'm just, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Every time you go to like buy like a, a serious thing, you go, hey, do you have this? And they, instead of looking at anything they pull up an app on like a phone they, i've seen people look it up and they go Home Depot no and shit. I, it says i don't have any in my inventory and then i go okay well it says you have the thing that i want on your website yeah. and they go yeah but it's always wrong. systems fucked and i go okay well i want to go do a thing with my son today so i need this thing and it says that you guys have it and he's like yeah, yeah but on mine it says we don't have it and it's like okay well it'd be really great if you could go check he's like i could but it says we don't have it so i'm just like and I got my son then standing with me, out. and I'm have to like I have to show my son that I'm not a fucking idiot bitch. Yeah. So what I did was I I said, okay, well I can buy the bike on your website, and it says in store pickup, and it says that I can pick it up right here, and it'll be ready within an hour. And he's like, yeah, but it's it's probably gonna get kicked back because we don't have it. And I said, okay, well I'm just gonna. I'll complete. tell you what, I'm I gonna said, buy it. I'm gonna. I said just for laughs, I'm gonna complete the purchase and see what happens, and I do the whole thing. And I'm like, well, now, how do I find out if you guys have the bike? And before he can give me an answer, I get an email saying that they're preparing my bicycle for me and I can pick it up in 10 minutes. And it was just like that. The, the interaction just died. And the guy wasn't even like slammed. It was an old guy just killing time until he dies. Yeah. He was vacuuming a sporting goods store. I was Fuck. like, bro, I give you a chance to go look around and do something. Man. Yeah. Dude, that's where he just refused. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I didn't freak out or anything. I just made this man look foolish, and then I that was a cool thing. I had, had like I got to tell my son on the yeah. way out, like, "Yeah, dude, you didn't have to threaten him or anything." <laughs> that was my stepdad's move. I was like, "Yo, <laughs> don't ever listen to anyone older than you, including me, dude. They're all stupid." <laughs> Listen, he's working at Dick's. He's a fucking retard. Yeah. <laughs> Just show him your yeah. phone. I was like, dude, you think anything worked out for a senior citizen working at a mall? That shit is a bummer, dude. It's dude a bummer. I was like, dude, pretend that you care about school so that's never you. Yeah. Dude, uh, my son hit me with a pretty sick Dick Sporting Goods joke about six <laughs> months ago. I think I told you about this one. Hit me. But we were leaving jujitsu jitsu and um, we needed to get him some summer clothes. I was like, uh, I was like, I need to find out where the closest Dix is, and he's like, uh, why don't you Google image that? <laughs> <laughs> hey Hell yeah, dude! When I first learned how to ride a bike, I would say, why don't you check your asses, <laughs> <laughs> Dad? I, dude, I was pretending I was your son for a second. It was so fun to say that. <laughs> <laughs> he did light up when he said yeah. that. As a friend, that's an all right thing to say. But if I was your kid and I said, where's dicks? Why don't you check your asses? <laughs> Woo! Man, yeah. I would have went home and high five mom. Smashed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when I first started, when I first learned how to ride a bike, my stepdad showed me. The next day, my grandpa came to like put me on the bus. And I was like, dude, let me show you this real quick. I rode down my driveway across the street, down the neighbor's driveway and into the front of their house and fucking <laughs> fucked myself up. <laughs> And I'm like in a tizzy because the kids are at the bus stop. I'm like, I'm cool. And I went inside and I fucking took down my pants, take a piss. I cut my nuts open. Oh. So, dude, what the fuck? Because, so, dude, I, I literally like pie face into this dude's fucking house and like tried to like collect myself. Like, oh, it's cool, cool. And it went inside. Yeah, I like dude. nicked my nutsack. And I went, I was like, we're going to the hospital, dude. Oh. You know what? I made him take me to the hospital. You've probably just gone through a growth spurt and your like arms oh, were a quarter dude. inch longer than you were expecting. Yeah. So nothing <laughs> Worked anymore. Every, I skateboarded nonstop till between eighth and ninth grade. I grew like inches, and I couldn't do anything. I could like barely walk. It was brutal. Damn. Yeah, I was like normal height till like ninth grade, and then blew up. Did you have growing pains really bad? Do you Not that I remember. Pains? No way. I don't think so. I was so fucking like I don't remember anything from. Did you think you're a werewolf and you're like <laughs> yeah. call the cops? They need to lock me up right now, mom. My legs hurt so fucking sh- bad. <laughs> Just the shittiest werewolf ever. No body hair. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I thought I had growing pains. Like it's what my mom told me I was experiencing. But the reality is, like I was just fat and like <laughs> on weak <Angry>. legs. <laughs> I was on bad ankles and overweight. <laughs> Your feet. You just had like forty year old foot pain. <laughs> Dude, my face constantly smelled like ham when I was that age. Oh. Dude, I just bought some ham at the food store today. I love ham. <laughs> That oh shitty, like, prepackaged God, ham dude, yeah. oval. Oh, you know what I'm man. talking about? I love that well, shit. Help yourself to some meat, right? Oh, I'm going to eat some meat. I ate so much this morning, I feel ill. 
Dude, like, I don't know if you're smelling. I, I don't even eat that. I don't much know if it's food or two items farts. <laughs> I mean, I think I, since I ate so little today, I have like a very reliable stinky fart Dude, recipe now. <laughs> Your asshole is like a wet gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> You're finding the perfect recipe for success, yeah. baby. Don't fuck my ass after midnight. It's going <laughs> to be really mean. It's pungent. <laughs> Chismo. Oh, my God. That's too much. Don't say that. Man, that, that bad that. gremlin was sexy, wasn't she? What bad gremlin? Remember when uh, he put on the, the makeup in part two? The gremlin? I never saw it. He didn't do it in part one, did he? Uh, but no, but I remember, I can't remember which one it is, but I remember the gremlin putting on the makeup, yeah. Pretty sexy. I never it? saw gremlins. I did when I was real young, but I don't remember it. One was great, two was fucking unhinged, so it was even better. Hell yeah. Wow. I haven't watched a movie in... Is that what kicked off? Is that in, Did that imprint on you, and that's why you're into spunkers? Because you saw the gremlin dressed up as an old lady? Well, dude, more, more <laughs> what than the anything? fuck is spunkers? <laughs> oh, uh, gilfs. Slutty grandma. Oh, hell yeah. I can respect that. Damn, that's why you took an interest in his grandma so quick. <laughs> Whoa, dude, yo. I came in his wife. Yo, was coming to my grandma. The wife saw yours, bro. Where's my mom? <laughs> that was sick. We could do a gram swap. <laughs> that <was> sick. <laughs> dude, in fucking, in fucking Spunker Poor, like, there's no pizza guys. There's just hospice workers coming in. <laughs> Some guy coming with diabetes sneakers, <laughs> piping your grandma. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, when, like, <laughs> like Gilf only fans they sell their diabetic socks. Uh, she's got diabetes. <laughs> Every one of my family's diabetic up. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I think if I had diabetes, I'd fucking kill myself. <laughs> nah. You are slowly. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you got diabetes. Does, is know. diabetes like a problem or do you just take medicine? My grandma had diabetes. Bad, they man. started taking toe by toe for like years. Uh, <laughs> I got an maybe autistic diabetes system. was just a cover up, and she had a gambling problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's my grandpa, dude. Mike, they do fucking gamble too, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That was like the, the, our vacations when we were kids. We would go down to like Trump, uh, the Trump Marina, like all the Trump hotels. Then my stepdad was like, "Yeah, it's because we had no money, and my grandparents would go blow money and get a free room." So we just oh, go and dude. eat chicken fingers and watch hotel TV. I can't imagine like how much money old people go through because every old person that I know growing up did that shit where they would All just go them. down to the casino and have like buffets and hotel rooms. Like, I gambled a lot. Like when I in like two thousand and one, I got into blackjack pretty heavy, and like I could, I don't know how people <laughs> accumulated those kind of rewards. Yeah, I don't know because they they just played slots. My grandparents didn't play any card games and none of that shit. Mm. Just sit down and drink gin rickies and slots all day. Yinglings and Jen Rickies, baby. Yeah, I think. Uh, I don't know. You gotta spend do, they, a lot. do they treat like different gamblers like different kinds of uh, customers? Like if you're a slot player, you're reliable. You'll come. You'll dump a certain. Yeah, amount. it's yeah. like a like a savings account. Those you know keep I mean? the doors open. Yeah. But if you're a card player, they're like this guy's gonna get killed by somebody. That probably was the situation because I I had like a good. I can't believe you've never been murdered. <laughs> <laughs> you're one of the. I mean, you cleaned up your act, but for a long time, you were one of the most murderable people I've Dude, ever met. The last time I went. Well, not the last time, but it was my 2012 drug run that kind of like shook me into <laughs> semi sobriety. Yeah. Good year when I fucking. <laughs> we should hang penance in here. <laughs> <laughs> he won the Wigger NL East that year, 2012. So it was the night that I called you from Atlantic City, uh, asking for a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my god, dude. dude! That night, I I there was. A, a, a drug acquiring angel named RJ that I oh, came across yeah. during my travels and we were in search of some drugs and we went to some very sketchy parts of Atlantic City and at one <laughs> point a guy told him to get me off the block because he hated my shoes. They <laughs> you got killed for bad yeah. shoes. Okay, so you called me in the middle of the night. Yes. And <laughs> I remember you were like, I need some money. <laughs> <laughs> Did you come up with a fun story for it? Do you remember this conversation? Prob well, I remember talking to you at first. I messaged everybody in my phone asking if they can Western and this, Union yeah, this was a hundred bucks. No PayPal. Oh, yeah, Venmo, 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 before yeah. Cash App. And yeah, PayPal wasn't as accessible. You you called me, and then I think our buddy Pat Barker. All Pat Barker actually sent me money, and then my friend, my other friend Tim, sent me a hundred bucks too. I didn't get it until the next day because like I was so <laughs> fucked up. up. I wouldn't even. Yeah known how to start manipulating western union but i just knew that was a way that you could get it to what yourself. was my answer you said no but you did call me yeah i think i was like dude i wish i had a hundred dollars <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh and yeah. I, I had an ipod touch which was a big deal at the time <sighs> yeah and i brought it to a pawn shop 
and I had just fucking bought it, and I think it was maybe like 160 bucks, and it was brand fucking new. I had used it maybe 40 bucks. And what did he no, dude, no, it was they offer you? Sized one. Yeah, what did he give you? 40 bucks. He offered me 20 bucks. Whoa! And like at this point, like I was devastated because I went down with like three something, and I got myself a room, and that was like half of what I had. Then I blew the rest on fucking beer and coke. Hell yeah. And then I was like, all right, well, I got this iPod Dutch. He'll give me close to face value for it. And there's like one of those open all night pawn shops. Yeah. And I was like, how much can I get for this? And he's like, $20. And I said, Damn. no. And then he went back into his room. I said, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> and he came back and I got the 20 bucks and we ended up getting $20 worth of cocaine. Man. He's got like two key bumps for that. <laughs> Not even, dude. <laughs> Fucking plus. Yeah. I think at that point I was still like, I was still overdrawing my bank account like the day before payday every single time mm-hmm. <laughs> that shit's so. the most depressing time <laughs> dude i when i came home the next day these are crazy <laughs> <laughs> just put them numbers <laughs> uh our, our buddy danny ozark happened to be in atlantic city at the time danny ozark yeah that's a good day yeah <laughs> i like and that he was <laughs> a dead name mike <laughs> yes. that's a dead name friend. Yeah. so Rest all right peace. at the time danny ozark our friend karen hooked me up with 40 bucks so i could get gas and tolls on the way home yeah but before I went home, I was already in deep shit with my wife because, like, I had bailed the night before. And uh, I was like, all right, I could probably smooth this over if I show that I didn't blow all my money. So <laughs> I found out how to access Western Union, and I went to the Kmart near our house. And there was $200 waiting for me at Western Union from my friend Pat and my buddy Tim. So I came home with 200 bucks. I was like, what are you even mad about? I have all this money. <laughs> Look at all these 20s I got. Dude. Were you married at the time? Yeah, we have been there. Damn, that's forever. a down bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, and it, that like I would always like that was my move. Like anytime I'd be coming off like a vicious like coke bender, I would like sleep a little bit and pretend I wasn't like that hungover as I actually was. Uh, I remember like we went to go see Men in Black three that night. I think it was. I and can't I was, imagine like, that sounds like hell. <laughs> you got a coke hangover. You got to watch that bullshit. <laughs> oh my god! I liked it. It was nice. But like, I was like, yeah, dude, I, I'm going to the movies. Everything's fine. Like, I'm with it enough to take you. Dude. Just a gun earring hit. Just chilling. <sighs> Fuck, dude. Would you consider going back to an earring right now? I might. You yeah, I actually to. thought about buying a chain recently. Yeah, we're gonna put fucking dude. I was fighting those the things. Chain. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get you rebar studs for those fuckers. <laughs> oh yeah, you cauliflowered up, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you should pierce the cauliflower. Yeah, I might get That'd ear be a tight implants. move. Ear implants? Yeah, do it. Get gauges. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> that's the move. Attach it to my nose. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Oh my god. You ever had anything pierced? Uh, just my ears. This one, Claire's. My buddy Joe did this one. That's <laughs> like, hot so, guy shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. hell yeah. You you don't got your ear pierced? Mm-mm. Damn, my girlfriend swears we look alike. Who mean you? Yeah, I shaved my mustache. She's like, I swear to God. <laughs> she was very nice to me when we met. Yeah, she probably wanted to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then she, she saw a picture of your cute ass kid. Now you're putting the pressure on me, cocksucker. And fucking me. She's like, look what our kids <laughs> yeah. would look like. It's probably yeah. just like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, my you guys God. should. No. She'll get her pregnant. That's I'll a get really her pregnant. Let's leave get her pregnant. Like a real man. <laughs> <laughs> you get her pregnant. That'd be sick. No, for real. Though, going back to what we said earlier, like getting I'm gonna get in- you guys into like a dust cloud tussle over each other's grandmothers and wives. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fuck your grandma. <laughs> can you show me a picture of your grandma? Uh, I can find. I definitely have one. When we take a break, I'll find one. Okay, thank I you. definitely got one. We'll put a link to her OnlyFans <laughs> in the comments. I wouldn't be surprised if she had an OnlyFans. She her won't only stop. Grams. She got a fucking Instagram, so all she does is DM me videos of like hot guys dancing. What? Non-stop. I'll show you. She's my grandma's a fucking psychopath. Damn, that's a sad psycho. Right? Yeah, yeah she's chilling her hips. Hell yeah, I don't, she's sturdy. <laughs> I don't see. The, I don't see the hip breaking happening. I give her a lot of credit, man. Both my grandmoms died like they were just fucking, just old and gay. Like, really? There was there was <laughs> there was no fucking spunk left in the tank on either one of those. Damn. Yeah, were they like lifeless husks? Uh the well. My paternal grandmother was. She called me and like she was so crazy. The last time I talked to her, I was just like, uh, I gotta go, and oh. I hung up. And that's the last time I talked to her. So I kind of have some regret there. <laughs> yeah. My maternal grandmother was a very sweet lady, but. In hindsight, it's just like, yeah, she needed to die. <laughs> Whoa. But, dude, they, they the did, way you gripped yeah. the mic when you said that. <laughs> no, she what I mean by that is that... Yo, uh, no disrespect. <laughs> Grandma was a nice lady, but she needed to she die. Needed to 
<laughs> Earmuffs, family members. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, fucking every day was just spending money on the Pennsylvania lottery, just uh, scrounging up money for cigarettes, getting Meals on Wheels delivered. Like life was. Yeah, well, that was bleak. a rough ending. Like uh, yeah. death was a welcome comer. Yeah, uh, my grandma fucking just fries up hot dogs and bacon grease and. Fucking gets hammered. <laughs> She's living, brother. She's riding that boat to the rocks. It's gonna taste like fucking Hebrew National, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> oh my god! I bet you. I'll send her this to look up. <laughs> She'll watch it. And start fucking joining this live chat. She tastes like Hebrew national. <laughs> oh my god! She probably hasn't heard her pussy in like fifty years. What's her name? Maureen. Maureen. I would love to eat your pussy. <laughs> Great mom, hop on that deal <laughs> before you get in a walker, you old bitch. Yeah, she's the best. Girl, I will attach myself to you like you attach yourself to those slot machines. <laughs> you got to drive her down to Atlantic City. I don't know if she drives that far anymore. Her I'll mom just her. died last year. She was fucking 105. Dude. She looked like the fucking crypt keeper for like the last like 10 years. <laughs> Blind, huge crucifix. Just My- sat in the living room all day, every day. Mike's going to add a chin mark to her recliner groove. <laughs> <laughs> You have a butt chin indent in your taint. <laughs> like Rainy was here. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I lost, dude. My, I think I lost my grandmothers within a couple of years of each other, and they had very nice passings, and I was like mm-hmm. very close with them, and I have no regrets. Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. You're a good grandson, too. Yeah. Terrible son. Excellent grandson. Bad son? Dude. Yeah, bad son, dude. Damn. But like, uh, yeah, you're hard dude, I went and I went and visited my my grandmother that died uh, last year. When she like told me all these stories that she could still remember about like working for uh, like Bell Atlantic as like a switch operator. Hell it was yeah, just this real. I I'm gonna cherish like those conversations for the rest of my life. Hmm. But she didn't. I mean, in a similar vein, dude, it's like her time to go. You know? yeah. I didn't feel any. Did a good run. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even get sad at her funeral. I was like, yeah, that was old enough to go, and yeah. she went. All right. Well that, done. Dude, these stories make me want to take even better care of Ryan's grandma. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take yeah. care so, of that old boy. Maureen, <laughs> I'm still going to eat that pussy. And better yet, I'm going to put on Jeopardy in the background. Dude. And, and then after I make you come, I want you to say thank you, Johnny Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> She's a Wheel of Fortune and, uh, is it Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy, but she oh, fucking cheats. <laughs> she'll just, she's illiterate. So she'll like <laughs> watch the whole thing and then they finally say the word and then she says it like she thought of it. I'm like, bitch. Yeah. She's out of her mind. Like the word starts and she acts like she was just <laughs> yeah. remembering it at the same time. We watched, I forget, I watched some movie with her and literally the opening scene is this bald guy killing a chick. And then at the end, she's like, I fucking knew he did it. <laughs> like, yeah, it was the opening scene, you twas. <laughs> it's fucking. That's pretty cool. She's You're so old mind. that you forget details in movies and have to solve the story. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even, I'm like, do you forget or you're just that dumb? I don't know. It's impressive. She's a gem. Shout out, Maureen. Is that the only grandmom you got left? Uh, my stepdad's mom. I don't know my real, I barely know my real dad. And I know his parents died. His his mom actually like fell in a kitchen in Kensington and didn't get found for like four days. Oh yeah, no. so Slip that's on a some tough. Hebrew national. <laughs> yeah, sucking down some dogs. <laughs> yeah, no. And then my my stepdad's parents are still alive, but they're fucking crazy as shit. Annoying. <laughs> wow. Too annoying. And she's a ginger. Oh, I can I can say this confidently <laughs> that my wife will never die in the kitchen. <laughs> Not, not a cooker? <laughs> like, that's great. That's a really good joke. Dude. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> been working on that all night. <laughs> she was cooking when I got here. <laughs> She'll die in any other room in this house besides that kitchen. Well, the kitchen and the laundry room. <laughs> <laughs> if she dies in the toilet, I'm going to leave her there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just going to move out. <laughs> Do you guys make a cheaper life alert that doesn't need to work in the kitchen or laundry room? <laughs> it's out of range. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I just looked up at the live chat. I see I love cocaine. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm with you, baby. <laughs> New sponsored Grandscape. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Man, this is this has been fun. I think we're almost no. We're at fifty five. Oh, yeah, time to land this bird and switch <laughs> gears to the bitch. Patreon. Get more racist on the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna flip my hat to the front, brother. <laughs> yeah, as, as we come, as we lead into the Patreon, everybody's got to scream the N word wherever you're at. <laughs> <laughs> into All a pillow. The world. That'll work too. All right, your dog. Mm. Ugh. No. Nah. 
Yeah, I'm proud of you. They, those are some smelly boys tonight. Yeah, they're pretty stinky. I'm sorry. I can't smell a goddamn had, thing. I had to do it to them. When you take those pants off, are you going to smell? I'm going to hang them from my rafters. <laughs> Let me ask you this. <laughs> <laughs> just hang up shard, shattered and Levi's in the corner. You ever yeah, dude, you know what? You spent too much time in Port Richmond last night. You came back way more racist. <laughs> <laughs> it's an evil place. That's why I'm saying I never I took a picture of you on stage and you were caught Jesus like this. Christ, I was like, no, whoa, it's chill, a video. Chill. Stop. <laughs> dude. Yeah, dude, Port Richmond is like a racism recharging station. It's so <laughs> really? funny, dude. And I think Chef pointed pointed me this in. Chef pointed it out in the chat earlier. He's like, "It's so funny how, uh, how, how like, like you know, these guys keep joking about racism because their backstories are the most n-worded shit ever." <laughs> <laughs> the place I'm from is like the embodiment mm -hmm. of that. Like, I I grew up around like the most like genuinely racist people who could not have been lower scum. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. All right. Dirt balls so. are always racist. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> they yeah, yeah. always are. I'm a piece yeah. of shit, but these. Yeah, it's very Every funny to time, watch dude. dudes claim genetic superiority when they look like they're from a swamp. <laughs> yeah, and act Every, like yeah, yeah. You can't have a bad foot and say that you're better than somebody <laughs> yeah. else. Every, yeah, Kensington no. has more inbreeding than like fucking England. I swear to God, they yeah. all look like British and royalty. Yeah, they're all dude, of that sunk it in temples. It's like <laughs> you could put somebody from Kensington in fucking West Virginia and they'd look perfectly dude, they're, fine. They're sunk it in temples. It's like they're winding up to scream out the N word. <laughs> it's crazy. Like uh, complaining about like Latinos moving into the neighborhood and like watching them through the blinds while your grandchildren die from opioid overdoses. <laughs> yeah, all, there's like bodies on the porch. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, yeah. Kensington rules. No, I'm never going back, man. <laughs> Dark, People keep, dark, I live dark. at like fifth. And, you know where Poe's sandwich place is? Yeah, I yeah, live like right special. above there. Oh, wow. that's yeah. nice now. Yeah, though. it's nice as shit. That's now. not what I'm from. Yeah, <laughs> I don't recognize. It's kind. That it's at nice all. as long as you don't go like two blocks north, and then. That's got problems. You got human furniture, like people like <laughs> yeah. like nodding out so much that they're a fucking table. jumping out of a black trash bag. <laughs> fucking brutal, dude. But nah, it's nice for the most part. Ryan, what um, what can we ask people to like make sure that they check out for you? I mean, I got shows all the time. First and third Thursdays, South Philly, Stickman Brews. It's like 13th and Mifflin. I'm starting up a show with Fennell and Sarah Bell. You guys know them? That's, oh, they're the best. I think we're doing that second Dude, Thursdays. Someone, someone stopped me and told me that they love Brian Fennell's story about him and three of his boys got beat up by one guy at Hibachi. <laughs> 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 so fucking funny. Then you get, they got beat up at like a fucking hibachi restaurant. Yeah. It was four on one and they lost. Man. <laughs> I love Fennel. So you Fennel and Sarah Bell starting up yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, And that dude Tuscany. He's hosting like an open mic after, but I think that's second Thursdays. That's basically it. Yeah. Yeah, Fennel went to that Chinese restaurant and caught a General So's ass. Hey, <laughs> that Kung Pao chicken, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's basically it. You trying to get that pussy eight, Maureen? <laughs> oh, um, I'll call her during the pitch. <laughs> She's probably still up. Dude, I would love to see her take like three momentum swings that go off the couch in slow oh, motion. Yeah. <laughs> She's got, she does more of a wiggle. She gets duck toed <laughs> in them diabetes dude, ones. You trying to get me hard, dude? <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh What's the God. hottest old lady you've ever seen? Both of you. Hottest old lady? How old are we talking? 65 and up. 65 and up. I'm talking older Pennsylvania. Put me in a tough spot here. Mm. 65 and up? I was going to brag about banging a 47-year-old in a trailer park. Dude, she was I'm hot. 42. <laughs> 47. Yeah, and this was 47 man. in like 2009. Okay. Used to age harder, <laughs> and she wasn't doing jujitsu and shit. <laughs> we left the bar, and she's like, "I live in the development right across the street from the school, and I'm there, and I'm driving around nonstop." And I texted her, I was like, "Yo, I don't know where your house is." She's like, "The other development." I was like, "The fucking trailer park." <laughs> the There's a trailer yeah. park right next to it, yeah. and we hooked the, the temporary <laughs> development. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the mobile development. And I got there, and my ex-girlfriend's dad was there <laughs> with his buddy banging two other chicks. <laughs> so I just, like, drank some red wine, smoked a joint, and then banged some 47-year-old lady. Jeez, man. Forgot my wild. Had to, my little brother had to drive me back the next day. It was tough. <laughs> it was Dude, a tough you look. were like a night at the museum porno. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. It was good. She was hot. <laughs> but, yeah, 47. 65, I don't know. Jane man. Seymour? Somebody said that. She's smoking. Yeah, Jessica Is that Lane. the hot mom from... She, what was she from? With them fucking uh, Vince Vaughn Dr. movies? Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. Is that Jane Seymour? I don't know. I I'm, yeah, 
yeah. Wedding Crashers, the hot mom in that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's who I'm going with, baby. Yeah, she's a good one. How old's Nina Hartley? <sighs> she ain't 60 God yet, bless right? her heart. She's probably <laughs> 75 <laughs> years young, I would say. Damn, is she that old? I'm going to say Nina Hartley's 75. Jake, can you look that up real quick? She is 62. Damn. Ooh, right uh, under the wire. Yeah. She's got three good years left in her. <laughs> man. That bitch is still doing porn, isn't she? I don't know, man. I, yeah, I watch mostly out. amateur stuff, so I can't. Yeah, she's probably working at a Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> I only like porn where you she's can sucking like, at a Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> <laughs> I only like porn where you can like hear cops playing in the background. I'm like, that's my shit right there. I hear a kid crying. That's my shit. Good well, lord. Okay, well, I think we I think we had a fun time. This was fun. Was uh, anything else you want to mention before we go over? That just follow me on whatever Instagram or Twitter. Ryan L. Foster, baby. There we go. You guys said I was coming to the podcast. I got followed by like two dudes in Metallica t-shirts. So I was like, yes. here we go. <laughs> That's what's up. Dude. Yeah, good thanks boys. for having They're me. good fellas that'll follow you. Hell All yeah. right, Bubs. Also, thanks. check out Little Stinkers podcast. Yeah, I, I definitely yeah. was the only man. good true crime podcast. Yeah, it's yeah. true crime for men. Yeah. yeah. It's so, the only true crime without like lonely lesbians <laughs> with their guests. Yeah, everyone I try to listen to, I'm like, all right, dude. It's the only true crime podcast where they don't fucking like string you along and then withhold details and then right. go like, but actually there was a development that I with You know what I mean? Yeah, Fuck off, yeah. dude. Suck my dick. That, dude, that point, voice. There are people that complain sometimes because we split it up the episodes into two parts. Look, I'm going to get if, if you're you complaining about that, here's here's the basis of every part two. He kills more people and then he fucking gets caught. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to save you a lot of complaining. That's really it. That's all you're missing. So if you like it, I love you guys, and thank you for supporting us. But if you're whining about it being broken up into two parts, he kills more people, and then he fucking gets caught. End of story. Hell yeah. But listen to Little Snickers. I appreciate all of you that check it out. Especially appreciate everybody that supports us on Patreon. Because you guys were going to fucking California next week, we're going to find Charles Manson next week. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. We're going to find him. Thank you, boys. Can't wait. Also, oh check out twitch.tv slash Tim Butterly. I'm trying to really keep some momentum going over there, and it's been really fun, and everyone's really great to hang out with in the chat. The chat is the point of it. So if you're just like, wow, it sounds pretty gay, watching a guy play video games, it's not watching a guy play video games. We're hanging out. Sometimes I'll impress you with a little bit of razzle-dazzle in a game. Dude, I had a, a very contentious Rocket League series with a viewer who challenged me. He said, bro, are you ready to get your back blown out in Rocket League? And I said, bro, are you ready to fucking suck my bird? And then I... <laughs> We took it down to the wire, and I won it in a uh, Champion Universe overtime match. Um, Hell so, yeah. yeah, let's keep that going. Let's get that going a couple of days a week and, and just have a nice time before they make it illegal. Let's blow each other's backs out. Yeah, Hell Blow yeah. Maureen's back out, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, boys. All right, All right, cool. Head over to the Patreon. We'll see you there. Yeah, go to patreon.com slash podcast. Love you guys. See you then. Later.